at least 283 corpses found in a mass grave at NASA hospital in Khan Yunis. The UN human rights chief has said he is absolutely horrified. Who do you think those bodies are? Probably terrorists, because the ratio of combatant to innocent that Israel has is unprecedented in modern warfare. We know we've killed about 15,000 terrorists. There was a terrible battle in those areas. So How the chances are... Died? How do you think these people died? In, in gun battles with Israel. Why do you think some of the bodies were found with ties around their hands? Well, because we probably arrested the terrorists. And then killed them? Well, I don't know if the terrorists fought back. I wasn't there. But all I can tell you is that this has been a very difficult urban warfare, that nobody on earth has experienced this type of warfare, where the terrorists are hiding in tunnels, where they're cowards because they won't face their enemy. They just leave innocent people up there whilst they hide in tunnels that are bigger than the London uh, underground. And they come out, they shoot, and it could be that many of them were shot um, and they were shooting in a battle. And it could be that there were bombs thrown by them and grenades. There could be a million different scenarios of why these were found. But remember, we're in the okay. middle of war. I, I just, just to clarify for me, if you would, how do they fight back with their hands tied behind their backs? Well, we don't know what they were doing before their hands were tied behind their backs, do we? No, but if you've managed to cable tie them, they shouldn't, yes, and maybe, shouldn't subsequently and then, I mean, find them friend, dead, should we? And maybe, again, we're just conjecturing. Maybe his friend threw a grenade, and then what happens? Maybe there was a missile, maybe they threw a rocket, and then what happens? Again, this is conjecture. I wasn't there, you weren't there. We can't know. All I know is that our army has the Neither highest... Neither was amongst... Amnesty International, and they say there's been a lack of access for human rights investigators. It's a shame that they're not worried about the lack of access to hostages who haven't been visited. <laughs>